First thing you got to do is remove the headliner. It's three big pieces you got to take out from the ceiling. Next, you're going to pop these clips and remove all of your air vents on both sides of the van. I have a video, I'll link it below so you can see in step by step detail how to do this. Now let's remove the cover. Take a look, that's the AC unit right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and build a little steel cage around it to protect it. And then that way it'll give it some airflow and then we're gonna go ahead and reroute the AC and make our own AC lines. Here we're removing the main AC vent and then the splitter above it. You could remove this and cut the AC lines, but then you would have to reconnect the AC lines and recharge the system if you want the air conditioning to work in the front cabin. I wanted to keep the air conditioning in case I ever stopped and wanted to do some work in the back or take a nap, I would have AC still. Okay, now that we got the cage built around the van's pre-existing air conditioning unit, and we've ripped out the old venting, what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to reroute these lines so we can get the AC flowing through the van again. We're gonna use three inch pipe, and then we're gonna use three inch hose. For this three inch pipe, you close it and clip it together to create the connection. All right, so what we did is cut a 12 inch piece off of this three inch aluminum pipe, connected it together, and then we use duct tape to make it airtight. And then we'll go ahead and connect onto there and continue our duct work. And you can see we basically sealed it up with duct tape all the way around. So then we'll continue off of this. All right, so now that we got the three inch vent pipe up, now we're gonna connect onto that. And how we do that is we're gonna use this four layer tube right here. And then how you connect it is you're gonna take a hose clamp that's going over top of it. And you're gonna take whatever you're connecting it to. Here we got a T, and you're gonna put that inside of your tubing. And once you get that inside, you're gonna slide your hose clamp up right there. And to tighten the hose clamp, all you do is use a screw screwdriver or you can use a pair of pliers or a wrench and tighten this up until it's nice and tight around it and the good thing is about the tube is it's flexible you can extend it you can maneuver it around uh, difficult areas but the main thing is you want to try to keep this as straight as possible and with as little kinks as possible that way it's going to give you the best airflow so what we did with the existing AC is we actually closed it up duct taped it I shoved this three inch tube as deep as I could in there and then we basically just re-ran the AC lines. Got a little wide connection here. We're going to put another outlet there. Runs along. Got a little T here to have another vent and then we come down here where we'll have a third vent coming out. So we tuck this all in between the insulation. All right, so what we're going to do next is put on the back walls to our cabinets. Here's what we're going to use, it's a poly wall, it's really easy to clean, moisture resistant. So we're going to cut this into 12 inch strips like we did here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use some Gorilla Glue and glue magnets on the back of this and we'll use that to attach up to the wall. Alright, so now we went ahead and glued all the magnets down. And they're not too big, they're about this size. We used the uh, super glue gel so that way it doesn't run all over and you can see we basically put magnets in the areas where I know it's going to stick to the metal frame against the back of the cabinets. You got to be very careful because the magnets they'll magnetize and jump and stick together so be careful with the glue. If you're not careful you can glue your fingers together. We're going to do an on camera interview on what happens. <laughs> After teasing my mom for a bit about gluing her fingers together, we went ahead and got the poly wall up. This material worked perfect for what I was looking for. I needed something that was going to cover the uneven surfaces and hide the wires behind the cabinets 
and I also wanted something that was lightweight, cheap, easy to clean, and that wasn't gonna be hard to install. This material is easy to trim, and it's also flexible. Let's fast forward to when the cabinets are up. All right, and now we have the finished portion. So you can see we have the vents here. These are three inch vents that we can close, open, and we can also rotate to get the direction of the air where we want to go. And, also, and we connected it with a hose clamp here and a simple hose clamp here. Put it on the outside of our board and we have it here. So we have three in the van. We have one directly over top of the bed, one in the middle, and then we have one in the main area. And what's nice is you can put as many vents in as you want. You can run it to different areas. So if you have a dog with you, you can run it to their kennel. You can run it to the bedroom area, uh, really anywhere you want to go. So this is a lot easier than what you think it would be. So give it a try. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll help you out. <laughs> would you like to tell us what happened to your fingers? Can you tell us how dangerous that was? Can we get a look at your fingers? <laughs> Show us the real fingers. Show us the ones that are glued together. Oh, you got it out. Were you nervous when that happened? Shut <laughs> Were up. Were you scared? <laughs> you scream like you lost a finger. <laughs> Stop. Stop recording that. Man.